Take the Steelton High Spire School District, for example. Their superintendent says they're already underfunded and they don't have a reserve, meaning they rely heavily on state funding. Well, with kids coming back to school soon, if there isn't a budget in place, they may have to take out loans to help pay bills, meaning programs, payroll and daily operations could all be impacted. A little nervous about it, to be quite honest. As lawmakers battle it out over the budget. When the impacts hit, they're going to hit hard and they're going to hit fast. Counties, schools and other organizations that receive state funding have their mind on money. What we saw in 2015 was that the uh, impasse, the, the effects of those, those missed state payments hit as early as late July and early August. We depend on our basic education funding from the state. When they are not able to come to an agreement, we you know, have to look to our reserves, which are, are limited. The superintendent of Steelton High Spire says during a past impasse, they had to take out loans, which has high interest rates and additional fees. So a school district like ours that is traditionally underfunded, underfunded $10 million uh, currently, any additional money you have to put out to borrow money is another layer of debt that we have to take on. And he says now they're planning for possibly needing extensions for when bills are paid. We're definitely thinking about it. We're talking about it daily. Um, so you just hope that, that something comes through because we want to be able to support our students' education. Every decision should be with what's best for kids. In Shippensburg, we would have to look to, to do some potential short-term borrowing, which is certainly inefficient and would disrupt our plans. The Harrisburg School District says they rely heavily on state subsidies. They say the longer the state budget impasse continues, the longer they have unknown revenues for some of their most significant revenue sources. I'm currently disappointed, but but willing to be hopeful. And it's not just schools. The counties provide those human services, again, mental health services, homeless services, child welfare, substance abuse services on behalf of the state. And it really is a partnership where the state then provides funding to the counties. A majority of that funding does come from the state. We certainly hope that legislators will come back to Harrisburg as quickly as possible to get a state budget done. The Department of Education says districts are supposed to receive 15% of their special education funding at the end of this month. The current delays will prevent that from happening on time. Districts are also supposed to get 15% of their basic education funding at the end of August. Any delay past mid-August will impact those payments. 15% of the secondary career and technical education subsidy. That goes to schools with vocational programs that will be delayed in August as well. These cash flow issues might also cause delays when charter schools get money from school districts, not to mention some federal funding will also be delayed if there isn't a state budget. Now, how long will this last? That's the big question. Really, it depends on the Senate and how quickly they decide to come back and sign the budget. Right now, we're hearing that they may not come back until September. In Dauphin County, Jessica Babb, CBS 21 News.